gentlemen, our next fight of the evening is in the Tough Enough Women's Featherweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner with an MMA record of three wins and four losses. Fighting out of triple threat, fighting Oceanside, California. Ladies and gentlemen, Autumn King. Her opponent stands across the cage in the red corner with three wins and two losses. Fighting out of Drysdale Jiu-Jitsu, Las Vegas, Nevada. Here is primetime Shannon Reed. Referee in charge of the action inside the cage is Frank Trey. So Autumn King in the black and pink, Shannon Reed in the black and red. Frank Trey is the referee. Both women are very intense. And they come out swinging to start. No hesitation from either side. Southpaw just charging forward. Move your head in there as well. Move your Stiff jab there. King is extremely aggressive here. Oh, and she just got tagged with one that made her back up a little bit. Jab, one, two, three. Step to her. Encounter. Big hook there that just missed. Just step to it, champ. She's tired already. The question is, with this kind of pace, how long can they keep it up? Don't get your low kicks, I was going to yeah, note the uh, ankle wraps of Reed. Maybe she's trying to take this one down, but so far, no attempts, as she has her against the cage. So maybe we'll see the first one here. She's looking to connect those hands. So we'll see not a ton of time left, but we'll see what Reed can do with that Drasdale background here. And uh, we'll see what King has off her back. Obviously with these amateur rounds, two minutes, the ground fighters, you have to stay busy. There is not time to kind of posture and wait for a mistake. You really have to be aggressive. Unless you are just looking to kind of ride out the time, depending on your strategy. But at this level, everyone should try to be pushing for that finish and get that experience. Full guard right now for Autumn King. Holding the head, keeping things tight, not allowing Shannon Reed a lot of options from the top. Less than 30 seconds to go now. And she rips the combination of the body and head. Reed postures up and throws some heavy punches. A nice exclamation mark there at the end for Shannon Reed. Mike Vaughn, I'm interested to hear what you think because this is a tough round to score. Yeah, I mean, the beginning of the fight, King came out very aggressive on the feet, landed some hard punches and was just pushing forward. But that takedown, I think that was the biggest moment of the fight. And she did work off the top. So she got some nice punches in. And I think you have to give that round to Reed. Yeah, I would agree. You're looking at the takedown right here on the replay. That was a big takedown. She was wrapped up a lot during the first round, but she did kind of punctuate the end with punches at the top. And well, I thought Autumn King was extremely aggressive. I don't think she landed flush with a lot of those blows. So um, for me, I, I would agree with you on that one. I think I'm going to go with, uh, with Shannon Reed in that round. I thought her late work was probably a little bit better. Yeah. We've seen a lot of that so far tonight. Very few dominant rounds, and that's exactly what you want to see. You want to see back and forth competitive fights, and that's exactly what we're getting so far tonight. Absolutely. Autumn King in the black and pink, Shannon Reed in the black and red. And you see right away Autumn King coming out with that same aggression she showed in the first round. Nice counter body kick there by Reed. She just throwing wild shots, short punches, like the Autumn King throwing those wild hooks. The only, not the only a problem with that is she's leaving herself open to the straight counters, which are a little bit faster to the target. Yeah, not a ton of technique in these strikes so far. She's just kind of winging some of them. She is mixing it up with some nice shots to the body, but right now it just seems like she's looking for that power shot that's going to hurt her. Yeah, mixing in the high kicks as well. She throws those pretty, pretty freely. Like the way you fight. That's good. Keep your rhythm. That's what we need. Right hand good. there by Shannon Reed. And we'll see how long it takes for Reed to try to take it to the ground again, or if she's going to, if she wants to stand in this fight. She just got tagged with a big punch by King. Uh, King did a good job. Oh, nice oh. left hand there. Yeah. Shannon Reed immediately felt that and shot in. Good sprawl from King, though. 
She knew she was going for the takedown. It was a bit, bit of an outside shot there, so she could see it well and she defended it. And now she looks like it's, she's gonna get back to her feet. She lands a knee to the body in two. Be careful, you cannot throw the knee to the head in the amateur ranks. Oh, and we have King. Or... Shannon Reed is saying that she got caught in the groin there. Move, yeah. Frank Trigg did not agree. Another knee inside there to the body. Turn to the case, turn to the case. Autumn Reed controlling well on the outside. You gotta work from there, Shannon. Shannon, you gotta move, Shannon. Now Reed has her back against the fence. We'll see if she can wrap those legs up again and get another takedown. A lot of clinch work to the body from both sides here, though. Smart strategy if they're trying to wear each other down. Much better round here in the final seconds of the second round. Otto King was able to stay upright, had that same aggression that we saw in the opening, and then was able to stay upright and deliver some knees to body. I, I got to think you're going round two with Otto King. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, we see Reed in her corner here. You wonder, she was pointing to her groin during that fight. How badly did that affect her? Was it a strong shot, or was she just trying to get a little bit of a break there? It's hard to tell sometimes, but in her corner, she looks like she's ready for a big round three here. Yeah, I agree. It's been, uh, as we watch the replay here, the big action there, the big keys for Otto King was able to kind of land some of those big shots. And you see some of the shots that were landing, we kind of criticized early on that she was throwing those wide sweeping hooks. She kind of turned to the straight punches later in the round, and those were the ones that landed. I think that's what she needs to do more on in the third final round if she wants to win. Meanwhile, you Shannon Reed, uh, I think you've got to sell out on that takedown at all costs and just look for it right away. You have to walk through a striker too to get there. Most definitely, and we'll see what she can do in this third round here, John. All right, we think the scores are tied. That's just our highly unofficial card. Autumn King, the the black three. and pink. Shannon Reed in the black and red. Oh. oh, they get right back into it, wasting no time getting to these exchanges every single round. Oh, no. Wild. Um, The aggression from Otto King. It's not what you want to see out of Reed though when she's getting tagged, she's putting her hands down, moving backwards, chin straight up. It's not not a good look on that side of it. She needs to get this fight to the ground right now. And right on cue, she does a nice outside leg sweep, gets her to the ground. Yeah, and she absolutely needed that one. She was getting tagged heavy on the feet. I would imagine she's losing this round right now, so Reed does have to do something on top here to make an impression on the judges if we do go to a decision. Yeah, I agree. I don't think riding out the position is going to be enough. No, she was, she was hurt early in that round, I, I think. Will she try to pass? Right Does seem like King is uh, content with fighting off the back here. I mean, she was like that in the first round, and she needs to get back up, or you never know what the judges might think of this top control, even though I do think she was dominating the earlier part of the round on the feet. She gets the hurts in, but she's very high on the back. I don't think she's going to be able to finish this with the time remaining. Rolls over, finishes on the back. Another interesting round of score there. Now, she did advance position there. She was able to get to the back. She was able to get the side control. There were a couple of dominant positions there. Wasn't enough to overcome the striking in the, in the early going. I don't know, it's very hard to say. It's again one of those things, it depends what you value more as a judge. Do you value those punches earlier? I, I think we're gonna have to give that round to uh, King. That's on my card. I think she was closer to finishing the fight there. She had her hurt with a few big shots on the feet. Although she gave up the takedown, I still think she got the better of the striking exchanges and took the round. I'm torn as we watched the, the replay of the third and final round. I, 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 I gotta admit, I'm torn. I mean, there was some great striking. There was that big right hand. You saw the knees buckle. Uh, but then Shannon Reed was able to come back, take the fight to the ground. So, you know what? Listen, 
I think you can make a case either way. Would not be surprised if the judge disagree on this. We might, I'm, I'm, I'm smelling a potential split decision here. Yeah, and you wonder how hurt she really was there. Was that takedown just purely out of instinct? Was that just technique? Well, who knows what was kind of going through her head there. We did see her get flipped with it. So very, very interesting judge's decision coming up. And like you said, could be a split. All right, Just Bernard has a card in his hand.